Hello and welcome to this AV LAN review of the KEF E305 Home Cinema Speaker Package. We're going to talk to you about the different technologies that go into making this 5.1 system, uh, as well as the best way of setting it up, and also what we think it sounds like, what this is like to use for music and for movies. So these E305s from KEF replace the previous KHT 3005 SE and the KHT 2005. Um, they've had a long line now for, for sort of 10 years or more of egg speakers um, because of the shape uh, they've been referred to. And these are the latest ones, and then they're sort of the only ones now that they do. Now, they, they've, they've made a big change to them. They, they uh, look very similar, but the design of them and the, the sound of them is very much different. Uh, very much improved by the Z-Flex surround that's in the Q series, so the much, much better drive unit. They're aluminium uh, cones in them, and they have the Tangerine Waveguide, which was on the 3005 SE as well, but again, handing down a lot of technology that's on the Q series of speakers. Uh, but fitting to this very much smaller form factor. The bracket tree has been redesigned as well, which we'll show you shortly. They come in a, a, this sort of um, matte, silky matte finish of black and uh, white. You can see here the actual drive unit. Very heavy, you know, the magnet on it's a massive magnet on it. Uh, so it does a really good job of pulling the cone back in again once it's been pushed out. And the, they're rated at uh, between 10 and 100 watts. You can use them with amplifiers more than that. Uh, and, you know, of course, you could damage them with any amplifier. You have to, if they start to distort, you need to turn the volume down. It's too loud. So they can be used with any of them. The grills aren't detachable, so you can only see the cone sort of by holding up to the light, the actual drive units. It's a UniQ drive unit, which uh, Kev have used on lots of their speakers, uh, which means it has two separate drive units. It has the tweeter mounted inside what, what is the bass drive unit with the bass drive unit around it, rather than having a dust cap in the middle, it has the tweeter. So they are two independent drive units. It's not a full range speaker. It has actually two of them. And they do this because it's a single point, uh, you know, that the sound comes out of. So they, they say it's better dispersion and better uh, symmetry and, and, and it's more likely to be in sync, the, the, the treble and the bass. That's, you know, debatable. But it certainly does, for this uh, size of speaker, mean that they can shrink the drive unit down. Here on the, the actual stand that doubles as a wall mount, you can see that the speaker cable can go in and be fed in. So it can come in from behind... So if you've got uh, the cables hidden in the wall, you can come in behind and go into those terminals there. Uh, and this, this doubles as the wall mount and the desktop stand. Or if you're running the cables down the wall or you've got them uh, just sitting on top of uh, somewhere, you can do that. So there it is. You can see it you using it as the desk stand. And then flipped around, you can use it as the, um, as the wall bracket. And it pivots in all directions. That's how you'd have it on the wall. And here you can see it on the wall. And it does look very stylish. It's very discreet, doesn't doesn't take up much uh, space uh, and, and looks, you know, modern, futuristic. It's it's got a, a you know a very uh, very good design. And it's a design that hasn't really dated either. I mean, the, you know, these even though these have been out for over 10 years, this sort of designer speaker, it still looks good. It still looks uh, you know different to, to other speakers on the market. And here's the actual the actual satellite speaker. It can, when you buy it as a package D305, you get five of these. One of them as, as the center speaker and the four as the fronts and the rears. And then you get the separate subwoofer. You can see it has a base port there at the top. Drive unit in the middle with the tweeter right in the middle that, with that yellow ring around it. The same as what's on there, sort of Q-series design. And then you've got that integrated stand now with the connections hidden away. They used to be on the back of the of the actual cabinets. Here's the white finish. We, we shot this sequence uh, at the, as they launched them uh, to dealers. And there's an optional floor stand as well uh, that you can use. And it isn't just a stand. It actually has the cables running up it and it has a slight crossover network, similar to what they have on the T-Series, that alters the sound. So the cables, again, can come in at the bottom, so there's no cables running up them. And it does know then that it's on a stand. This is the subwoofer. And um, they, they've, did, they've done quite a lot of uh, work on this to keep it a very small form factor so it's discreet. It can sit behind a sofa. 
it's got that drive unit there and, and then you've got the mains power and the again the, the line level input can be very discreetly hidden. Uh, if you're designing a room around it, you can even have the cables coming up through the floor. Um, but again, it's so you don't have to see it. You've got minimal controls there. It will power itself on and power itself off. And this, this is the um, E2 subwoofer. And, it, and it's got a 200mm drive unit in it. And a, a digital 250 watt amplifier. So for most average size rooms, well here in the UK anyway, more than enough uh, to fill it. Of course, a lot of amplifiers now have twin subwoofer outputs. So there's nothing to stop you from buying another one of these. It is available separately. And putting, putting two of them in a room if you've got a larger room to fill. But it's a, a sort of unique design as well. It is shaped like an egg as well, like the, like the uh, actual satellite speakers. And it doesn't intrude. It doesn't, it's, it's not trying to make a huge point uh, about itself. It will quite happily sit in the corner and, and it doesn't draw attention to it. It's not a horrible box. Uh, like a lot of speakers. It is only a line level input. It doesn't have high level inputs. You can only use it with a phono uh, connection, but that's fine for most people. You're using it with home cinema amp. Here it is in the white finish. And again, it's not a it's not a glossy finish like on previous uh, the the 3005s. It's this sort of silky uh, matte sort of finish. On to the pros and cons for the KF E305 5.1 subsat system. Pros. Sound quality. These sound amazing. They blow you away. There's no, there's no two ways about it. When I first heard these, I couldn't believe just how much they'd improved on the previous 3005 speakers and on the T-series, which are actually more expensive. So although the T-series are more discreet because they're very flat... These sound so much better. Uh, the actual satellite speakers bring out so much detail. They're so crisp. They're so good for music, let alone movies. Um, we, we just can't fault them. There is nothing on the market at this price that can touch them for just out-and-out -out sound quality. Uh, we cannot fault the actual E305 speakers. Um, they're discreet. If you're going to mount them on the wall and hide the cables, you see nothing at all. There's no cables at all. It all goes into the stand. The stand's well designed, well thought through. We really like it. Uh, there is no faulting it. The subwoofer is the only probably on the, on the con side isn't powerful enough to power a very large room. So I would say if you've got a room larger than four meters by four meters, you need two of them or a different sub. But it works out a lot more expensive if you buy these separately. So you're best buying it as a whole system. And if you've got a bigger room, then we recommend getting a second sub. But apart from that, the sub's good. It's punchy. It's quick. It's just it's just not quite big enough. It's volume and the actual drive unit to fill a very large room. Um, but no, I mean, there's nothing else really to say. They are they're discreet. They look good. They're well designed and they sound amazing. Uh, we, we cannot recommend these more as a as a 5.1 package if you don't want big bulky speakers if you don't want bookshelf speakers you don't want floor standards you want something that's pleasing on the eye uh, and re quite reasonably priced these are cheaper than what they replace here in the uk then you cannot go wrong with the e305s the only slight thing we would say is that the subwoofer you do need two of them if it's a, if it's a, a large room but here in the uk most rooms most living rooms are around the you know four meters squared point so they're in that respect they're absolutely fine our dem room's about that si size and in our dem room the sub more than shakes the room it's fine so there you go i it's the it's su such a such a clear-cut decision for me these are the best thing on the market at the moment that's the end of our review of the kf e305 speakers if you've enjoyed this review and you'd like to see some more or you'd like to purchase this from us please visit our website, avlan.co.uk. Thank you.